Hey guys, it's Dr. Jason Emmer, board certified dermatologist in Los Angeles, New York, and Florida. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about acne scars. If you're seeing this video, you're doing research, congratulations, I hope you've chosen to come to our office to do acne scars because I'm one of the few people who have done these combination treatments for scars for years. Acne scarring is a very devastating thing for people. It affects them emotionally, physically, because it's scarring on the face that you see every day truly affects people's self-confidence, leads to depression, and just being unsatisfied with your overall appearance. And treating scars requires a, a multiple modality of things, numerous combination techniques to get an amazing result. So if you're coming to us and you're doing your research, you're gonna learn that there's an entire process that's required to be able to truly get improvement in your scars. That's gonna include not only sun avoidance and sun protection, because lasers can induce pigmentation on the skin and complications when we do energy-based devices, but also skincare protocols that are needed to pre and post treat the skin to not only suppress the body's ability to produce pigmentation, but you get your skin ready. Now, what treatments exist for acne scars? It just depends on the type of scarring you have. And that's why a comprehensive consult is needed. Some people have a lot of porous or ice pick scars. Those are the small, um, little indented scars, very small porous scars. Those sometimes can never be treated or they need something called TCA cross. TCA cross is where we use a small chemical inside the pores that cause a scab to form. The scab peels and sometimes it shrinks the scar or sometimes it widens it but makes it more superficial, allowing lasers to then work better. TCA cross requires a number of treatments to get results typically about four to eight weeks apart. We combine TCA cross often when someone has porous scars with lasers and even punch excisions where we physically go in and surgically remove a scar. That could be done on these ice pick scars or wider scars. Um, even bigger excisions can be done where we surgically actually remove scars. The main type of scars that people have, which are rolling or box car scars, those require both energy-based treatments as well as fillers and subcision. Energy-based treatments can be from the lightest chemical peel to very light laser, like something like Moxie or Fraxel, all the way up to a hybrid laser like Halo, or even including a aggressive ablative laser, like an erbium laser, profractional, deep erbium, or even CO2 laser. Often we'll do a combination of those depending on what type of skin you have and what type of scarring you have. The darker your skin tone, the less aggressive we can be and the less we can use an ablative laser. So what can you expect when you're gonna get an acne scar treatment done by me or my team? Since we do such complex combinations and we pre and post to treat the skin, we're doing more aggressive treatment. So our goal is in the first six months of treatment, at least two to three bigger sessions, if your skin type can do it and you're the right candidate, each time having about three to seven days of peeling and then multiple weeks of redness and sensitivity afterwards that's improved and maintained with skincare, our intense hydration mask from Ember Skin, red lights, CBD pills, and all the aftercare um, things that we talk about that we do when we consult you and we go through the process. Each time the skin peels, you should get close to a smaller improvement uh, that will build up through successive treatments. So it's never one treatment to get the best result, even though we do one treatment combinations to get bigger results than most people, it takes a series of treatments to get great outcomes. You may never get fully clear of your acne scars, but my goal is that when people look at you from far, they don't notice them as much. You may still notice them, but most people don't. Or when you see yourself in certain lighting, the scarring is much more diminished, smoother and flatter, and your skin's more radiant, even if you still have some scars. What makes me different on how I approach acne scars is I look at every scarring type and I assess your own skin type and your goals together. And when I look at those types, and I then curate a complex combination of treatments, such as doing energy-based devices like laser combinations with microneedling radio frequency. Those things together get both the superficial and deep layers of the skin, lift the skin, build collagen, and resurface it at the same time. As well, if people have indented scar using fillers and subcision to lift those scars, if they have ice pick scars doing TCA cross, if they have deeper scars or big porous scars, surgically removing them. Me as a whole, I do a complex evaluation and a combination of treatments and technologies together that nobody typically does. And if they are doing it, they're doing it at a much less aggressive and progressive level. 
not getting the same type of results. Now, the other thing we do is we're very aggressive with our skincare protocols. My patients before treatments need to do lightening and exfoliation peels such as Cosmolon or Enlighten to prepare their skin for strong lasers. By doing this complex preparation of a Cosmolon peel, my Emmer Skin skincare products and stem cells topically, we can get the skin ready for laser and get an even better result because the skin's exfoliated, the sun damage is gone, it's smoother before we even laser. And then after laser, doing very specific things in an aftercare protocol, such as glacial, which is one of our cryotherapy treatments to help cool the skin and calm the skin. It can be done even daily during healing for a few weeks after the laser treatment's done. Doing oxygen and stem cells and exosomes, such as anti-exosomes to help the skin heal more quickly. And using my Emmer Skin Intense Hydration mask along with my refit peptide and hyla b and aox c all of those together combined in our aftercare protocols make a huge difference for patients along with red light and cbd pills to decrease inflammation internally so there's a lot of things we do that are more unique with that complex evaluation the combinations of multiple modalities addressing the scars at every level in the skin not only doing lasers and energy-based devices like microneedling radio frequency but combining the tca cross combining fillers and subcision removing surgically if needed and doing this in a series of treatments over the first six months big aggressive treatments typically two months apart and then maintaining your results quarterly afterwards with less aggressive treatments really makes us stand out, gives us the best results, and is what you're looking for.